Um, so as part of our undergraduate project, we are investigating flexible, breathable moths. One of the moths we're looking at is MAMS1, which stands for mes a Mesh Adjustable Molecular Sieve. Um, and from this, we then took the synthesis method and created our own copper-based moth, as you can see here. And we are going to uh, test its properties in the X-ray diffractometer to see how the structure changes under different temperatures and under different pressures. The X-ray diffractometer uses two different sample stages. The one here can measure samples in situ, which allows us to change the temperature and the pressure and therefore see how the sample changes structure accordingly to the conditions. We've been measuring from a range of one bar vacuum and up to eight bar pressure in different gases such as air or CO2. Therefore, it's possible to change to use things like hydrogen and nitrogen to see how these affect the different structures. The X-ray diffractometer works by producing X-ray signals which hit the sample and diffract off and are picked up by a detector. This produces an X-ray diffraction pattern, which you can then analyze. We found some really interesting results with our new copper-based moth, which is an analog of MAMS1. When we test it under air at ambient conditions, so one bar pressure, and we increase the temperature up to 280 degrees C, we find a whole new crystalline structure pattern appears. This then disappears upon recooling, suggesting that the structure reacts reversibly to this temperature increase.